Hello everyone. I welcome you all for today's session on Introduction to Hospitality Sales. I am Chavi Sahai. I work as an assistant professor at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. The learning objective of today's session are, first, to learn about the importance of sales in hospitality industry, and secondly, to learn the objectives of sales in hospitality. The sales effort of the property, in this case, hotel specifically, is to sell the property and its sub-products like rooms, meeting rooms, conference rooms, food and beverage outlets, banquet space, or sponsorship to the events of the property. Though hotels have designated sales department, but each employee is expected to be a salesperson and sell the products and services wherever there is an opportunity. They should do so while they are performing their regular duties. Let's discuss now how some of the staff of the hotel can do the can perform the job of sales representative. Firstly, let's see how does a receptionist can do it. First is they would try and sell the room to a guest who does not have a reservation with us. Secondly, they try and upsell the room. For example, if a guest has booked a deluxe room, they try and sell the premium standard of rooms, in this case, a suite or a club floor room. And then they try and con convey information about the food and beverage outlets, the entertainment facilities in the hotel, and also all amenities like the health club and spa, etc., to ensure that sales are achieved more than they had anticipated. Next, a room service order taker, how can he, he or she promote sales? While taking the order, they usually should try to upsell the premium dishes or the signature dishes of the restaurants. For example, you all must have visited fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's where the order taker generally asks you for extra cheese on your order. What is that? It is an example of upselling the same product. Similarly, how a bellboy can upsell is they should try and upsell health club services or the spa or the salon while they are escorting the guest up to the floor. So everyone is expected as in all the staff members are expected to get extra money through opportune selling. For this, the sales and the reservation department, they work closely. They try and do this by sharing the information because nowadays we have very good information system. They try and improve the occupancy of the hotel. Selling is a very important facet of hospitality business because there is fierce competition in the marketplace. Sales department gives guidelines to the reservation for future business and sales and reservation work very closely. Sometimes that is the reason why some of the reservation assistants, they move on to sales and marketing as a part of their career plan. So now let's discuss the objectives of sales. The primary objective or the most important objective of sale is to optimize the revenue and to sell all the available facilities in the hotel, be it health club, be it a salon, be it all the food and beverage outlets. And third is to obtain the feedback so that we can take corrective actions. If the guest is not satisfied with any of the services, we should try and change it. Now, how do we do that? There are various ways. First is to optimize the yield from each guest room. And this reflects in the average room rate or ARR in the short form as we call it. What is yield 
management, it is a planning process available to the hotel professionals to maximize room revenue. Yield means the benefit received from an asset. In this case, it would be a room. So maximize revenue from every single room. As we all know, room is a perishable product. That is, once a room is not sold on a particular day, the revenue for it is lost forever. So we have to maximize the revenue, be it in the dining room, the lounge, or if the guest buys things from the gift shop. Second way to achieve the high sales target would be to achieve high occupancy, especially during the low periods. How can we do that? We can offer low room tariff. We can offer reduced tariff for group or bulk booking. We can sell loyalty programs to gain repeat customers. And we can upsell the same product, the same rooms using special packages or bulk booking. And the third way to increase the revenue would be to increase revenue of food and beverage outlets but by promotion. By way of we can advertise about the same in various medias. We can use display boards in the entire hotel. And there's a room directory kept in the room. We can promote the food, food and beverage outlets in that as well. We can offer happy hours to guests so that the sales are increased during the low time, during the hour where the sales do not happen that much. So happy hour is one way of ensuring that. Next way of optimizing revenue would be to ensure that high cover utilization happens in the restaurants. How can we ensure that? We ensure that table turnover is high, means the same table is utilized by different guests over the period of time. How do we do that? Is we get the drinks order immediately and it is placed on the tables. Then if we see a large party of guests, we provide them with a large table so that all the tables are utilized to their maximum. The next step in ensuring maximum revenue would be that in the banquet or the meeting space, we ensure that maximum usage of space happens. We can do so by using partition if the banquet hall is too big. And we do a quick turnaround. That means the housekeeping ensures that once a party is over, which was for a day use, say in the evening at around 6, they immediately clean the space up, spruce it up, and we sell it again in the evening and ensure that the backward space earns us a lot of revenue. So these are the ways by which we ensure that sales target are met and we always optimize the, on the revenue. I thank you all for listening in. Please attempt the quiz by following the link given in the description box on today's topic. I would like to give credit to the following sites from where I have sourced some material for this presentation. In the end, thank you all once again.